Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Now, a VPN is certainly essential for accessing familiar sites and services in China. But other factors to consider include your location, getting a Chinese SIM card, choosing a reliable ISP, and setting up your VPN before arrival. Now, China's provinces may have different online resources, and some may even limit daily internet access. A local Chinese SIM card can help you avoid roaming fees, and China Telecom, China Unicorn and China Mobile are popular ISPs depending on the region. So what you want to do is download and set up your VPN before entering China as websites may be blocked and then you can enter China reassured that you do have access to all the websites and then you can just get yourself that SIM card. And keep in mind that even top VPNs don't always work 100% of the time in China as the government is constantly searching for and blocking VPN IP addresses as they also update the Great Firewall of China. But I've chosen these three VPNs based on criteria such as the availability of servers near China, they have fast speeds, strong security, a zero logs policy that's also proven through independent audit reports, uh, they have support for streaming and torrenting, great reputation for all these VPNs, 24-7 technical support in case anything arises, let's say while you're in China, or if the VPNs doesn't work for whatever reason, you can just reach out to the 24-7 live chat support. Uh, you get a lot of value for the money and of course a money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason or if it just doesn't work. Now, my top recommendation would be ExpressVPN simply because it works without any manual configuration uh, usually of course if it doesn't work you can reach out to the 24 7 live chat support available at the bottom right right here and they should be able to help you out and of course you can always go for the manual setup in case the usual setup does not work now you've got nordvpn and for the most part with nordvpn you probably want to go with a manual setup Although what you can do is simply try to use the obfuscated servers and see if that works. And if that doesn't work, you want to go to this page right here. If you just look up on Google uh, connecting from China, NordVPN connecting from China, and then you can use these setups right here, which are basically made uh, for connecting from countries with Internet restrictions. Now, right here, you'll see that they do say we're currently experiencing some issues with connectivity in the region of China as our server configurations for manual connections and applications were recently blocked. Our developers are aware of the issue and are working to fix as soon as possible. So that is for manual configurations. So what you want to do is try to use one of these configurations and see if it works. Now, this is for NordVPN and NordVPN typically does work, but oftentimes it may not work, in which case I would recommend Surfshark instead. And Surfshark, uh, you can just go to the settings right here and first try one thing. Now, again, this may work for some users. It may not work for others. But the first thing you want to do is activate no borders mode and activate rotating IP. And this will make sure that you'll be able to connect. And of course, make sure that the um, protocol selection is on automatic. Same thing with ExpressVPN, if I haven't mentioned that. And make sure that the uh, kill switch is also on. And the kill switch will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. Otherwise, the VPN will cut your connection with the internet, making sure that you don't get any unexpected leaks. Uh, so yeah, this is a very important point. Of course, all these VPNs do have the kill switch. And besides the kill switch, again, you want to make sure that the protocol selection is always on automatic. Now, I'm not in China, so I'm going to keep it on lightweight UDP. It's the fastest. But again, automatic will let the VPN itself decide which protocol is best uh, for China or at that specific province that you're in in China or at the time. So yeah, keep that in mind. Always keep it on automatic whenever you're in China. Now, if that doesn't work with Surfshark, the usual configuration, what you can do is manually configure the VPN yourself. So let's say you're on uh, Android. What you can do is just set it up on Android. I would recommend the OpenVPN setup, not the WireGuard setup. The OpenVPN setup is more likely to uh, actually work in China. So you're going to go to OpenVPN right here. Let's say Android and you'll go ahead and just set it up. Just follow the instructions. It shouldn't take too long. Um, the instructions are very clear and uh, once you're done with that, you should be able to use Surfshark in China. And that is basically it. But again, if you don't want to go through any of that, for the most part, 
ExpressVPN works great in China with little to no configuration. And again, they all do have a 24 seven live chat support to always help you if anything arises. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these VPNs with regards to the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to save a little more money. And of course, they're all covered again by a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.